Improving America's infrastructure today, President Biden signing the $1.2 trillion bill into law. Well, hello and thanks for joining us here for 13 Action News Live at 6. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. 13 Action News anchor Ross DiMatte joins us live in studio breaking down what's in this bill for Nevada, Ross. Yeah, Todd, Trisha, the bill has bipartisan support with 19 Republicans joining all 50 Democrats in the United States Senate in supporting this bill, including both of Nevada senators who say they have secured more than $4 billion for the Silver State. Yeah. The history making moment when President Joe Biden signed the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill into law, surrounded by those who helped pass it, including both of Nevada's senators, Jackie Rosen and Catherine Cortez Masto. There's so much that's beneficial for Nevada. First and foremost, they say the bill will create thousands of new jobs in Nevada. A recent study from Georgetown University says more than 140,000 over the next 10 years. Vice President Kamala Harris promising these will be good paying union jobs, like the one held by Jovan Johnson, a carpenter she recently met here in Nevada. She has, quote, built her career on infrastructure and fed her family on infrastructure. Second, when you split up the $4 billion in funding coming to Nevada over the next five years, more than half of that will help build and repair highways. About a quarter billion will repair and replace bridges, and more than half a billion will improve public transportation throughout the state. On average, Nevadans are paying over $500 every year for car repairs because of the poor conditions of our roads. We've got 28 bridges and over 1,000 miles of highway in poor condition. Broadband will get a big boost, with Nevada set to receive more than $100 million to improve and provide affordable internet, especially in rural parts of the state. So many are underserved. Why is that important? It brings telehealth, telemedicine, e-learning, certifications. I mean, apprenticeship programs that can be done online. This is an incredible opportunity. The state's airports will receive nearly $300 million. And finally, the state will receive more than $400 million to improve water infrastructure and make sure Nevadans have access to clean, safe drinking water. And Nevada has the chance to earn even more money through provisions in this bill to pay for things like wildfire prevention and a water recycling program. Now, I reached out to both the Nevada GOP and Adam Laxalt, who's running to unseat Senator Cortez Masto and represent Nevada in the U.S. Senate. Only Laxalt responded, sending us a statement that reads in part, quote, The vast majority of this bill has nothing to do with actual infrastructure projects, and the new jobs it claims it will create would compete directly with certain Nevada businesses who already can't find workers. If you would like to read Adam Laxalt's full statement, we're going to post that on our website for you along with this story at KTNB.com. Live in the studio tonight, Ross DiMatteo, 13 Action News.